Hi, I'm Dr. Jerry Jackson, out with the wild things. As I was floundering around for a topic for this week's wild things, it occurred to me, why not flounder? It's an interesting fish. But the flounder is not just a fish. It's one of a group of fishes known as flatfishes. Instead of swimming upright in the water, flatfishes lie on their side and take up a flat existence on the bottom. In addition to many different kinds of flounder, flatfishes also include halibut, sole, place, tonguefish, turbot, dab, and whiff. Worldwide, there are about 700 different kinds of flatfish divided into 11 families. Nearly 30 kinds can be found in the Gulf of Mexico. Most flatfish are shallow water marine fishes, although a few occur at great depths and a few get into fresh water. Adult flatfishes range in size from only a few inches to about 10 feet in length. The female Pacific halibut can weigh over 400 pounds. Flatfishes include important commercial and sport fishes around the world. On this week's With the Wild Things, we'll talk about the behavior, ecology, and fascinating adaptations of flounders and their relatives. Flounders and other flatfish are instantly recognizable because of their adult form. Instead of swimming upright in the water, they lie on the bottom on their side, and both eyes are on the same side of their body. But this is not the way flatfish begin life. Flatfish eggs float in the water until they hatch into tiny, normal-looking fish with an eye on each side of the head. Within two to three months, one eye begins moving upward and over the top of the head to join the other eye on one side of the body. The process can take nearly a year, at which time the fish begins its life as a bottom dweller, lying and swimming on its side with the eyeless side down. Each kind of flatfish is normally either right-sided or left-sided. Flatfish are predators, feeding on other fishes, crabs, and other marine life. They lie in wait on the bottom, sometimes half buried until food comes along. Some have an incredible ability to change their color and pattern to match their surroundings. Experiments have demonstrated that some flounders can even match an unnatural pattern, like a checkerboard, the ultimate in instant camouflage. Flatfishes such as flounders are predators that hunt visually and by smell. Their eyes are often on stalks, and these fishes can lie camouflaged waiting for food to come to them, sometimes buried in sand, except for their eyes. Some flatfish feed on other fishes, some on crabs, shrimp, or marine worms. The size of the fish and the size and shape of its mouth are factors that adapt each to its specific diet. Each kind of flatfish differs from others in habitat preferences and diet. For example, the gulf flounder is usually associated with hard sandy bottoms, whereas the southern flounder is most common over soft muddy bottoms. A relative called the spotted whiff is intimately associated with hard, coarse sand and shell bottoms in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico. Within a species, there can be other differences in diet and habitat that are related to age. While adult gulf flounders are typically found on hard, sandy bottoms, young gulf flounders find refuge and food in seagrass beds. Understanding needs of different species and individuals of different ages is critical to their conservation. Among fishes with rather bizarre names is the hog choker, a relative of flounders that can be found from Massachusetts to Panama. Hog chokers have their eyes both on the right side of the head and are relatively common in the Gulf of Mexico. Most are found in coastal bays that are shallow and lower in salinity than the open Gulf of Mexico. Young hog chokers often swim up coastal rivers and streams, sometimes as far as 150 miles into fresh water, although they return to the brackish water of coastal areas to breed. Although some find them tasty, hog chokers are usually not considered a game fish because they rarely exceed six to eight inches in length. Their small size and ability to live in fresh water have, however, resulted in their sale in the pet trade as freshwater flounders. Colonial farmers had a different use for them. They netted small fishes to feed their hogs and learned that if these fishes were eaten tail first, the rough scales could cause a hog to choke. Hence the fish's common name, 
hog choker. Flatfish, such as flounders, halibut, and sole, are predators that lie on the bottom and often ambush prey that include other fishes, crabs, starfish, sea urchins, and a diversity of marine worms. Flatfish play many roles in marine ecosystems, and although primarily marine, some are also found in fresh water. They are found in waters ranging from shallows to one species found in the Mariana Trench of the South Pacific at a depth of about six miles. Because many flatfishes live in shallow water and often near the mouth of a river, they have long been important as a source of protein for humans. Unfortunately, mechanization, larger and stronger nets, and other technologies have allowed ever more efficient capture of these fishes. Young flatfish that still swim upright are often a significant bycatch in shrimp nets. Pollutants take a toll on these fishes, and the overall human impact on flatfishes has resulted in serious declines in their populations and rippling negative impacts throughout their ecosystems. Regulated fishing and development of flatfish aquaculture are now being used to help ensure that flatfish have a future. With the Wild Things is produced at the Whitaker Center and the College of Arts and Sciences at Florida Gulf Coast University. For the Wild Things, I'm Dr. Jerry Jackson.